Brethren, we're going to have the Lord's Supper now. And so at this time, I want to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I'm going to start in verse 20. Here's what Paul instructed the brethren at Corinth. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others. And one is hungry and another is drunk. What, do you not have houses to eat or drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. Now he goes on and he talks about the purpose of the Lord's Supper. He deals with the bread. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So we give thanks for the bread. Our Father in heaven, at this time, we thank you for the bread, which to us as Christians represents the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we pray, dear Father, that those who are partaking of this bread will do so in a manner which is well-pleasing and acceptable in your sight. In this prayer we offer in Jesus' holy name. Amen. And now let's think about the fruit of the vine. Verse 25. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Let's return thanks for the cup. Our Father in heaven, we do thank you for this, the fruit of the vine, which represents the blood that was shed upon that cruel cross of Calvary. We pray, dear Father, that you will help us to remember that great sacrifice that each and every day will remember what was given for our sins. And this being the first day of the week, we consider it an honor and a privilege to partake of these emblems. And this prayer we offer in Jesus' holy name. Amen. This concludes our service from the Mount Zion Church of Christ. Remember, next week, we're going to be meeting at the building. And um, if you cannot make it out there, don't worry. We're going to still have a way where you can access and see the sermon and see the services. Um, and we pray that God will be with us all and be with you. And we especially pray for those who are recovering from any illness that they may be going through at this time. And, uh, this, uh, we hope to see everyone soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>